everybody. It's Friday, February 10th. It's February 10th. It's February 10th. Can you believe it? 2023. We've made it. It is the beginning of a new year here at Coffin, and there's so many great stuff. Hey, we got a lot of people checking in on YouTube. We've got KP. How you doing from Louisiana? We got Don. Hand pink wave. Hi, CP. And then we got Dawn, of course. How's it going? Let's see. De oh, hey, drop dead bread. What's up? Dude, there's some beautiful work in those books. Hey, McManteague on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, if you're watching us on YouTube and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, post a comment, you know, hit that little notification bell. We're trying to sick hit 6,666 subscribers. Come help us do that. Come on. We got a mission. We're trying to hit that magic number. Why? Because uh, it's on brand with Coffin Comics. I mean, why not? Hey, Raymond's in the house. Angel watching us over on uh, Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, KP. You know, you guys, uh, how about that Kickstarter? It was a hell of a launch. Um, hell of a party. We got a little tipsy. I'm not going to lie. I had a good time. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely worth it. And it was so much fun to see all the comments coming through. Um, I finally got to see all the uh, art today. And um, some of those mystery envelopes, Jiminy Cricket, man. I mean, I know that they're probably all gone by now, but geez, some of that art is mind blowing. I mean, you guys saw that. Hi, Gus. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, Frost, how you doing, MX? Jay, wouldn't be a show without you. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it's, I'm blown away and um, I'm really liking what we're seeing. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the mega foil will turn out with that sun cape piece because that's very pretty. And uh, really looking forward to seeing um, the uh, DeBalfo jeweled edition. That one's uh, really piqued by interest to see how that's going to turn out. And it'll be great to see what Princess Jewel comes with that. Hmm. Need to drink water, man. All right. So Valentine's Day. We know that's coming up. It'll be here on Tuesday. And uh, what I have for you, I'm going to show you guys the comics that we are offering. These are going to go live. Valentine's Day. 9 a.m. for Sworn Club because they get first dib. First dib for Sworn Club. So uh, here's what you need to know. So you're in the know. And I'll show you some of these really beautiful dishes. We got a ton to offer. I mean, holy cow. Uh, I don't remember this many being offered all at once. Okay, so Sworn Club on Tuesday, February 14th, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. on the Pacific, 8 a, uh, 10 a.m. in the Central, and 11 a.m. for all the beautiful folks on the East Coast. General public, you got to wait an hour because we got to let the Sworn Club members do their shopping first. It's one of the benefits to being a Sworn Club member. So, general public, you get to dip in at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Central, and high noon in the East. And we are anticipating, this is the estimated ship date, is roughly uh, the week ending February 24th. So, that is just estimated. So, here's what I have to show you. And damn, damn, it's all I got to say is damn. All right, here we go. Uh, my bank account is played after. You were in a car accident? Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that, KP. All right. First things we're going to offer. Whew, this is Scorcher, Lady Death, Heartbreaker. This is Lightning Strikes. This is uh, Ebass, of course. 200 serial numbered copies. It means it's a limit of three. You guys get to three. $25. What a beautiful piece to add to your collection. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you okay? Are you okay? That's the most important thing. Uh, here's my next offering. Only 90 serial number copies. $80 limited to. Guys, pearl linen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Be beautiful. <laughs> All right. Next up, I have the Heartbreaker Naughty Spit. Uh, sp smitten. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Um, 
All right, so there'll be 250 serial number copies, $30, limit of three per customer, per household. All duplicate orders will be annihilated by Brandy. Uh, I like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that Mendoza art book is totally worth it. All right, another pearl linen. This is Naughty Speaking. Naughty Smitten Pearl Edition. I'm getting ready to see Miguel's uh, uh, comment pop up any second now. Okay. So $80, 99 serial number copies, a limited two. Come and get them because these ain't going to last. Oh, Ryan Kincaid is in the house this year. And this is beautiful. Serial numbered up to 100. So that means a limited two. This is Hell Witch uh, Puritanical Edition. Wow, $25. I like this. She's so modest. She's so, uh, don't look at me. I'm covering myself up. Uh, Gus, I almost did, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anthony, how are you? All right, here's the next one we got. This is the uh, risque uh, puritanical <laughs> Again, Ryan Kincaid, 100 serial number copies. So that's a limited to $30 per person. Oh, okay. The next four. Yes, I said the next four. Make sure you're sitting down and laying down. These, uh, these are hot. This is a uh, Wargasm. Sun K, 199 serial number copies. This is Cuddle Edition. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. $25. 25 bucks. This goes live Tuesday, Valentine's Day. But wait, there's more. I said there was going to be four. How about this? The Wargasm Risque and Naughty Cuddle. $30, 250 serial number copies. Wowza. I told you that was a hot one. Now showed you regular i showed you the risque and naughty now i have for you cuddle metallic edition Woo 50 serial numbered copies limit of one 110 dollars you know they ain't gonna last hot and of course you saw this well here's the risque and naughty metallic edition super beautiful even prettier on metal hell to the yeah all right, whoever's called me, I'll call you back. I don't know where my phone went. There we go. Beep, beep. All right, next up, for all you La Muerta fans, this is freaking awesome. I'm thinking of you, Jay. This is La Muerta Descent, Mama Z Valentine's Edition. $25, limited to 50 serial numbered copies. There is only going to be a limited one. This is some badass piece by Oh, Gomez. All right. And con continuing our tradition of the rookie card edition. This is Serena rookie card edition. Only 50 serial numbered copies, $25 and a limited one. So those are just the comic books we are going to launch on Valentine's Day. Remember, Swarm Club gets an hour, hour first dibs. General public, you get to jump in after that. It's definitely worth signing up for the Swarm Club. To sign up, just go to coffincomics.com and go ahead and sign up for that membership because it's pretty good. All right, so the next items I have for you will be on the catacombs. If you're new to the show, please go to coffincomicshop.com. Go ahead and look on the landing page. It says catacombs. There's a cute little uh, casket right there waiting for you. Just click on that, and this is where you'll see today's offerings as well as sums from the past. Now, these things are only up for one week. And then they will be dipped down. Whatever's uh, left uh, gets vaulted or used for cons or whatever. Um, if there's ever anything that you are looking for uh, from previous shows, just see if I have them. Reach out to me at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Tension Julian, can you find? All right. Can you find? I'll even put that right up here. Also, I recommend you guys join the Sworn Club Nation. Be a sworn nation member it is the best group of folks in the comic world 
that is the best fan group. They are the welcomingest. They are the friendliest. They are the fiendest group you're ever going to meet. I guarantee, guarantee. All right, did Miguel make a comment? Yes. All right, I saved, dodged a bullet on that one from Miguel. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's tiptoe on into the catacombs, shall we? I have for you a lot of really cool bonus fry finds, like this beautiful last copy of Lady Death Sworn. This is the Metallic Luxury Edition by Don McTeague. Last one. Come and get it. Exactly. Wow, man, you guys are really back at it. Yeah, that's right. Swarm Club is 100% worth it. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. All right, everybody, I got some classics for you. Are you ready? Are you ready for the classics? Yes. I think you are. How about... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm freaking Brandy out a little bit. I have for you a purgatory set that consists of Empire 1, 2, and 3 and the preview book all signed by Brian Polito. That's right, purgatory fans. Come get the classics. I got some wowzers here for you. Wowzers. That's right. That's why I see a lot of people, they hover around on the catacombs waiting it for a load because then they jump in and just attack it totally attack it now this one's really interesting this one has uh three signatures one is definitely brian this is purgatory goddess rising preview book only got the one one and done all right continuing with more of the awesomeness how about this purgatory hunted number one signed by brian and i love that it has the red foil to complement that cover come and get it come and get it Woo! Now this is sexy. I've never, I've, I've only seen this hanging in the walls in HQ. I never thought I'd be able to sell you guys one, but this is it. Uh, this is the purgatory. I believe this is the premium cover right there. Got one. Go and get it. Get them and get it. Wow, that's awesome. All right, got another amazing one. Mike Diodato Jr. This is another Purgatory Super Premium Edition. Bam! Signed by Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I found one of these. I have one. Come and get both those birds. All right. All right. Here's another one. This is Haunted Variant or Hunted Variant Edition. Signed by Brian. Boom. That's right. I got some classic chaos for you folks today. Ooh, here's another one. How about Purgatory Empire? Premium edition cover signed by Brian. Bam! Man, I, I, I've been sitting on these for a while. I'm waiting. I've been waiting for you guys. Same with this one, Purgatory versus Lady Death. This is the premium edition signed by Brian. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come and get it. Come and get it, please. Here it is, Lady Death versus Purgatory premium edition. Bam! Jim Ballant. Yum, yum, come get some. Boom, boom, boom. I'm hoping I can get some more stuff like this because th this was, I, I geeked out. I totally geeked out when this was given to me. And here we go, Al Rio. I never knew they did this, but this is uh, Purgatory versus Chastity. This is the hollow foil cover. I never knew this cover existed until uh, recently. Yeah, I know, Anthony. Oh, is right. Also, here's another. Oh, this is Lady Death, The Crucible. This is the premium limited edition signed by Brian. Bam. This was cool. I never thought I would get my hands on one of these. It is sick. So, yeah, there's some purgatory stuff for you folks. All right, what's some other stuff? Let me take a look here. Let me see. I got, I got some more stuff. Let me just make sure I'm looking at the right day because sometimes I was looking at you and I get confused. I get confused. Oops, that's wrong. Here we go. Now, I showed you all those. How about this, everybody? How about Lady Death Merciless Onslaught? This is Death Mariner Knight Edition mock-up signed by Stephen Butler and Brian Polito. That's right. This is one of the 1 in 10 variants, and it's a mock-up. So there's only... 
two, three versions of this mock-up, and this is the only one graded. So why don't you come and get it? Because that's pretty groovy. Also, another great one I have. This is uh, Lady Death, All Hollows Evil. This is Naughty Hollow Witch mock-up, signed by David Harrigan. Yeah, I know. I'm an evil person. I am bad. But wait, I have even more for you guys. Like I said, I, I, I found some classics. I couldn't let them pass me by. So, I have to continue these beautiful trendings today. I am happy to be here. How about Lady Death, the Rapture Premium Edition, signed by Brian? And I just noticed, first time I ever had this book. And I'm looking at the, I was like, oh my God, it's one of my favorite artists, Arthur Adams. Then I noticed, holy cow, in the background, there is a kaiju from the Godzilla films. Destroyer! And Brian was like, oh yeah, that was my Easter egg. So yeah, there it is. The monster that damn near killed Godzilla right there on this cover. That was bitching to find out. It was hard for me to sell it to you guys because I was like, I, I kind of want to keep it. So, boom, I put it up for grabs. Put it up for grabs. Also, I have for you folks today also, if you will kindly take a look. La Muerta Primeval Legend set. I have two available right now. Come on, folks. Also, found another one of these. This is uh, Lady Death Wizard Half Crucible Kansas, Canvas, but unfortunately, it did not have the Wizard COA, uh, but Brian did sign that. I was floored. I never knew Canvas covers were a thing. I can't believe it. I was floored. And that... Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today in the catacombs. I hope everyone had a great time. I hope everyone's going to have an amazing weekend because uh, I got some plans. I hope you guys all have some great plans. Now, real fast, let me just check over here. Oh, wow. Okay, Anthony uh, scooped up the... Um, see he did a pledge and he got himself the new shirt uh and the new challenge coin hell yeah oh okay there's a question over on youtube cp and rob um he says everyone in chat should i open my mystery envelopes from a previous kickstarter i say yes because you don't know what you're gonna get and not only that why keep it hidden from the world release that comic book from its envelope of bondage and reveal it to the world bro that's what i say that's my advice release the comic yes that's what i say uh anthony's right always open because you might have something that's uber rare you just don't know until you open up and open and reveal that comic book so make sure you do that all right everybody it's been great Okay, CP, you got to let us know what you got from that previous Kickstarter mysterious envelope. So next time uh, when we go live, um, go ahead and uh, post it in chat uh, on Monday. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for me. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I got to get ready to flip over to the Whatnot Show. If you want, come on and join me. It'll be 4 o'clock. Got some fun stuff coming your way. Anyways, everybody, take care of yourself. Have a great weekend, and remember... I am sworn to you, and I need to put in a little stinger for y'all because <laughs> Evil Verse has been unleashed. Bye. Evil Verse unleashed. A company wide theme overtaking the Coven Verse in 2023.